This is the outside of the Auto Sleeper Fairford MQ. As we move along, we will firstly come to the LPG gas tank filler point. Just push in, twist, the dust cover will release. Our UK fillers slide over the top of this section just here. And then it's a matter of rotating a lever around and pulling it towards you to lock it onto the side of the van. Once you've done this, just hold a button down to put in as much gas as you want or just wait until it's full and it will click off the same as a petrol pump would. To release it, release the lever, twist and pull towards you. This bezel part just here is to screw in the Continental adapters. To view how much gas is actually in the tank, we just need to come to the driver's side just here and we have a little gauge. This gauge can only be viewed when the engine is actually running. You will start off with a red light and then a series of green lights. As you use the gas they will obviously deplete until it drops back down into the red, indicating that you need to then top it back up again. Mains hookup supply just here. Just remember that when releasing the hookup lead, just push down on the blue lever just here. We have the emergency cutoff point underneath the van for the gas tank. So it is located just here. So you just need to undo, remove the front face plate and it can then be turned on and off just here. I have now replaced the face plate and actually come round to the other side of the van and come back underneath it just as it's easier to show you where the regulator sits. So the regulator is here. This part here is the crash valve, so if anything should happen, this valve here would recognise the sudden drop in gas pressure if there was a leak and cut the gas off. These can sometimes be triggered if you go over a bump quite violently, so if you filled up your gas tank and you're not getting gas into the van, basically where this little bit here just juts out, there's a little button that you hold in hold it in for about three or four seconds and it will then reset the crash valve if I now move back round again to where we were a moment ago we then have water in to the van so we can either use the whale collapsible filler hose so you'll see that it's just a standard hose lock just here and then this end just plugs in at this point here plug it in and then slide this bit down to lock it into place then it's just a matter of turning the tap on and then making sure that the control panel is on and that you've activated the water fill and it will then start to fill the fresh water tank with these particular hoses, if you're on a fully serviced pitch, you can literally just leave it turned on and as you're using the water, it will constantly replenish the tank. Beside it, we then have another way of filling up the fresh water tank. Literally just pop a hose pipe in to fill it. You will see that the cap can be locked. Next we have external TV and satellite plates and also an external 12 volt socket as well. Just here we have the fresh water drain point and the great water drain point. Toilet 
that just here to remove it just lift up pull towards you before use remove the blue cap and add your toilet chemical with a small amount of water this is also where it empties from just remember that when you're pouring it away to just hold the button in just here this will release the vacuum inside it's also advisable to keep this seal lubricated fit for do their own seal lubricant but any silicon based lubricant is fine this is also a nice quick and easy way of giving the cassette a good clean if anything was to wrap around the float mechanism and it's then giving you a false reading that is full it can be cleaned very easily just by twisting this part here and then just removing all of these cassettes now are on wheels with a pull up handle as we come to the rear of the van we have the flue here for the space heater and the flue for the boiler we do not need to do anything with these just make sure that nothing is obstructing them the spare wheel just sits here and to wind it down it's done just at this point here in the jack and wheel brace kit there is a bar which locates where my finger is attach the brace to it and then wind it down there is an airline that runs from the spare wheel to the valve just here so you can check the tire pressure without having to drop the spare wheel and top it up if needed reverse camera just here external barbecue point just here so you'll see at the moment that the actual barbecue adapter is still attached with the cable tie so just remove it and attach the hose of the barbecue to this rib section just here and secure it with a jubilee clip when in use this end plugs in where my finger is and will lock into place and it will then allow you to turn the gas on to remove it just push on the collar push it up and it will then release itself vents for the fridge just here this is a fully winterized van so it does come with these winter covers so if you are planning on using the motorhome in extremely cold climate just pop these on hook them on at the bottom first and then just click them into place this means that the fridge will then only vent from the very lowest point and the highest point just here thus holding in some heat and making it run more efficiently when it's extremely cold do make sure that these are off in the warmer months or otherwise the fridge will just overheat and not work electric step just here operates on this button just here this will also put itself away when the engine has been started but always just make sure that it has put itself away we then have awning light switch and the low level LED diesel fill just here cap unlocks on the ignition key and then we have add blue top up just here it will let you know on the dashboard when the add blue needs topping up tire pressures just here and then we have the air suspension deflate or inflate depending just here so we have two valves for each of the airbags at the rear little gauges anywhere in the green is absolutely fine the airbags look like this always do be careful if you are using a high pressure airline as you can over inflate and pop them but you can control how much air is going in as as quickly as it can by just adjusting these by twisting them jack and wheel brace just here 
vehicle battery just sits under the floor just here and bonnet release just here we have the roll out canopy just here to roll it out take the awning winding handle and then what we're doing is we're just popping it in here and then winding <laughs> 